Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. In this video, I'll share with you some of the books that I've picked up over the last few years that have been super helpful when it comes to prepping. Now, some of these books are specifically geared toward preppers, and a lot of them are just great books in general to have around. Uh, books that are you know helpful with finances and other things. So what I'll do is I'll share with you some of the books that I've picked up, I've added to my library. This is by no means an exhaustive list, but I think it's a great starter if you're looking to build your own library out for books that could be useful to help you in prepping or uh, other things like medical issues. So what I'll do is I'll share with you these books and I broke them up into different categories. Some of them are medical, some of them are kind of like self-help, some of them are specifically geared toward prepping. And at any time, if there's any books that you think are very helpful that I didn't mention, please post those in the comment section below. Again, a lot of the books that I have picked up over the years have been from subscribers and viewers that have recommended different books. So without saying anything else, let's go ahead and jump in. What I'll do is I'll start with the first category of medical. Now, these books that I've got here, I'll share this first one, and you'll obviously not be surprised at all by this book. This one I share a lot on the channel. It's the Survival Medicine Handbook. It's by Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy. They're regulars on the channel. Um, that's one of those books that I would definitely want to have, have, or have around if there were an emergency, there was no physicians around. A good friend of mine, she's a physician, and she reviewed the book, and she was really impressed for someone that's a layman like myself that is not a physician. She you know, pointed out has a really good information. The next one is Where There Is No Dentist. And I've actually shared this before when I did a video on a dental kit that, again, Dr. Bones and Nurse Amy have actually produced and created. Uh, this book was originally designed for individuals in third world nations that don't have access to dental facilities. And so if there were a prolonged grid down situation, a lot of people really uh, aren't, I don't think are prepared to deal with dental and it would be a huge issue. So highly recommend that book in conjunction with getting a basic dental kit. And I'll post a link in the cards if you're interested in picking up or viewing the video that I did on that. The next section, why don't we go over here to what I would call skills that I'm currently working on developing. If you view my channel here lately and you've seen even the last video I talk about, uh, working on a self-sufficiency environment that I'm working on. So a lot of these books I'm having to use while I'm going through that. This one is called uh, home, Com uh, home Composting Made Easy. I've actually been composting for about nine months now, and I'm finally, I think, the last few months getting the hang of it and seeing uh, you know results. This next one is one that I'm actively going through right now is Beekeeping for Dummies. If you're interested in getting into beekeeping, this one has been super helpful because it's just very much by the numbers and it tells you everything you need to know. Um, again, I'll post links in the cards if you're interested in seeing those videos that I've been doing on learning you know, beekeeping. It's a skill that I think is important for a lot of different reasons for a prepper. The next one is the Hive and Honey Bee, uh, the, excuse me, the Hive and Honey Bee Revisited. This is a book my dad recommended to me. He was a beekeeper for a long time. This is a book he found very helpful. Uh, I'm also going to go through that after I finish Beekeeping for Dummies. Now, this next one is Mills in a Jar. And a subscriber, Christy, she gave me this one a while back. This one shows you how to actually buy pre-freeze-dried uh, food uh, components or, you know, things that have already been, you know, freeze-dried. So you don't have to have your own freeze dryer and you can take those and combine them and in a jar and then you know have food that literally you just put hot water in um, i think you know if you don't have a freeze dryer i obviously talk about it on the channel but if you don't have one i think that's a good book for you as far as getting the things that you would need and how to assemble these uh, different little meal kits let's see the next one is in regards to gardening if you have never got into gardening i think this is going to be a great place or a great book to start with this one's called the All, uh, All New Square Foot Gardening. Really popular book. It teaches you everything you need to know if you're getting into gardening. And uh, again, that was really helpful when I was getting into gardening a few years back. The next ones kind of tie into it is the Backyard Homestead and Mini Farming. These are obviously written by different companies or different authors rather. And I'm taking a lot of these principles because I've got land, I've got five acres, and I'm learning how to develop it. If you have a lot less land, this is a book that, you know, again, same principles, whether it's a lot of land or small amount. But again, these are really geared toward people with a small amount. A quarter of an acre is roughly, I think, about 10,000 square feet, which the average home in America is around 8,000 square foot yard. So that would be something if you're really looking at learning how to develop 
post collapse skills that if the grill were to go down for a long period of time, you got to produce your own food and, uh, you know, raise animals. Those are books that you would want to know and learn skills from. The next one, the Ch uh, Chicken Whisperer's Guide to Keeping Chickens. I think my mom found this one at a garage sale and she gave it to me. I've raised chickens. Surprisingly, they're pretty easy, but there's a lot of things I want to do when I set up my new coop here in the next few months, and I'm going to try to learn from that. Okay, so let's get into books that are specifically geared toward preppers, and some of these I found to be pretty useful. Um, the Prepper's Pocket Guide. This one is a really basic high level. It's not a lot of detail, but it's a good high level that will get you started if you just want kind of a, a basic starting point and don't want to get overwhelmed. Uh, that one's a pretty good one. This one, uh, there's two actually, The Prepper's Long-Term Survival Guide and The Prepper's Home Defense. These are written by the same author, Jim Cobb. He's apparently, or he's pretty popular within the Prepper community. He's written a lot of good material. And again, I'll post the links to all these books as I'm going through them in the description section if you want to check any of these out. I think those books, specifically the Prepper's Home Defense, would be good when you're looking at what do you do if there is a prolonged grid down situation? How do you defend your home? He goes into that in a lot of detail. Uh, let's see. There's some in here that are specifically geared toward cooking and food storage. The first one is a Prepper's Cookbook, and the other one is food storage. Again, if you're interested in learning skills on either one of these areas, these are books that I've gone through. They have a lot of great information. Recommend them. The next one is the Survivors Club. This one's not geared toward preppers. This is just a book that tells uh, real stories, gives accounts of individuals that survive really catastrophic situations and the knowledge that they had that made the difference between life and death. And sometimes it was just small little things. And so that's a book I've skimmed through. I need to go through it more exhaustively. Uh, but again, if you're looking at survival information, that one's a good one to start with. Now this one, a subscriber actually mailed this to me and he emailed me yesterday asking if I got it. And yes, I did. This one is how to build or build to survive. And it talks about how we design a sustainable, secure and survivable custom home. Um, I'm actually, yesterday I had a company come by and give me a quote to install solar and a backup power system. We're looking at a propane Generac. Uh, so I'm interested, I'm gonna reach out to them as well, see what ideas they have. I'm trying to get from different individuals what they'd recommend. Uh, in our area, we have a lot of wildfires in the company. The electric company is threatening to start shutting down power whenever the winds kick up this summer because whenever the winds kick up, the power lines start sparking. They slap together. So I've got to have a backup power system just from a practical level, not even from a, oh, my gosh, the grid has gone down. You know, SHTF has happened. I just need <laughs> it's just basic stuff. They may shut it down for a week or two, so I have to be ready for that. Now, this one is the big one, the preppers. I'm going to say this one last, the preppers blueprint. And... This one, again, you can pick it up on Amazon. I got it a while back. If you want kind of an exhaustive, like, prepping for dummies, that's kind of the book as far as what I've seen. The individual that wrote, uh, wrote it, I believe she's in Houston, Texas, super knowledgeable, uh, a lot of great information. Now, these next books, I would kind of bunch them into the self-improvement, financial. I'm going to share this one, this book first. Uh, I'll put it up here. You can see it. This is Financial Peace by Dave Ramsey. Hands down, easily the number one most influential book in my life when it comes to finances. I started applying his principles, my wife and I, back in 07, 08, and it got us out of debt, and it put us on a path of financial uh, security by applying a lot of those principles. It, it was, it's huge what it did for our lives, so I cannot recommend that book enough. I usually try to read it once every year or two just to kind of refresh and keep up. Now, this one, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. This one's often referenced a lot. This is by an author, uh, Kiyosaki. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but he actually wrote a book, funny enough, with Donald Trump, and it's called Why We Want You to Be Rich. Uh, Kiyosaki, he's a millionaire. Trump's a billionaire, so they collaborate on this book. And this is a book my mother had recommended to me. And the reason I like these books is uh, because it really teaches you how to change your mindset when it comes to money. It's easy to get into the rut of just like, oh, I'll go and do a job from nine to five and I'll get paid and that's it. These books, if you have any kind of entrepreneurial inkling, um, these really help steer you and give you high level concepts on how to do that. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely recommend it. The next one, this is one I just recently picked up. I haven't got into it yet, but the 10X Rule, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Think Media TV, teaches YouTube channels how to grow. That's a book he always recommends. So I'm gonna be getting into that. Teaches you just how to really take advantage of your time. Um, the next one, these real quick are the next hundred years. 
just had a friend over recently and he recommended that. Uh, it's a book that projects a lot of things that we'll probably see come over the next hundred years in our culture and world. So kind of interested to see what that guy predicts. Now this is another book a subscriber recommended and I picked that up. If you're watching, thanks for recommending this one's called Collapse. Again, talking about the, well, the subtitles, How Societies Choose to Fail or Succeed. Um, I did a video recently on my channel, Could Civil War Come to the U.S.? And I think people have the mindset, I'm not by any means advocating civil war, but I don't think people realize the United States is probably not going to, our country may not last forever. No country has really gone any amount of time. I mean, there have been a few, but eventually things happen in countries. And this book kind of sets up from what I'm understanding, you know, things that are precursors and projections on what can cause a country to fail or succeed. Now, this last category is fiction. The reason I have my phone here is because some of my favorite books actually were one second after. And it's ironic that I've got them on my phone because it's about an EMP taking out electrical devices. But the whole book series, if you've never read them, cannot recommend them enough. Honestly, after I read one second after, that's what kind of put me on the path to become a serious prepper. And uh, I'll, again, post links in the description section below if you want to pick up those books. The next one is Lucifer's Hammer. Had a subscriber recommend that a long time ago. It is a little boring. Um, it was kind of, I think, written in the 70s, but it got about halfway through, I'll be honest, before I gave up. But it's a real popular one in the prepper community. This one is The Last Babylon. Now, this one, I believe, was written in the 50s, and this is before there was a whole prepper community. But it talks about, you know, a nuclear exchange and how it takes down America the grid, you know, and how people have to learn how to survive. Um, has actually, from a fiction perspective, I thought it was really well written. Now, these next book series, uh, these are the, the first one was Coming Home. If you've never read that book, again, <laughs> an EMPU storyline, but these are all, I, the, the actual, the Coming Home was on my phone. And again, it's ironic that I read all these books on my phone about EMPs. Uh, but these are the hardback uh, paperback rather uh, series that follow up on that by Angry American. The first book I liked a lot, The Coming Home. These are kind of each book is like, eh. but the first book, I definitely enjoyed that one a lot. Uh, so that's it. This is by no means, you know, an exhaustive library. It's a small start. I'd be interested to hear in the comments. Please post w books that you find that are very useful that you have that you would say, oh, you got to add this to your library. I highly recommend it. I'll definitely be reading those. And I, I, again, I pick up a lot of books from what subscribers recommend. Uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, please click on the like button, share on social media. And as always, be safe out there.